What are your current thoughts on regulatory guidance for CCI? Regulatory guidance touching on container closure integrity, or CCI, dates back to 2008. An FDA guidance from that year underscores the role of CCI testing as part of a stability protocol for sterile drug products. Provided sterility is confirmed, manufacturers can use leak testing to verify the integrity of the package. But the guidance did not contain a lot of detail on leak testing versus sterility testing, nor did it address new technologies. Then, in 2014, USP proposed a significant revision to their General Chapter 1207 on sterile product package integrity evaluation. Guidance on CCI testing and technologies were explicitly described. This revision became official in 2016 and has transformed current practices for container closure integrity testing. Consideration is given to overall package integrity and seal quality associated with potential contamination from microorganisms, reactive gases, or other substances. The chapter applies to all types of drug packaging such as vials, syringes, flexible bags, and auto injectors, and it's now considered the gold standard for qualifying package integrity. <clears throat> Evaluations are related to the maximum allowable leakage limit, also known as MOL. The package type and intended use will direct the appropriate MOL as it relates to the contents of the package. This type of evaluation is consistent with risk-based assessments and current regulatory expectations. Can you discuss some of the new technologies that are being used? The goal of CCI testing is to demonstrate that a package is well assembled, the components have negligible defects, fit together, and are properly sealed. Evaluations start with understanding dimensional tolerances of the com components using basic stack-up calculations and assessing interference fit. This guides the selection of appropriate CCI testing technologies that correspond to the seal quality through residual seal force measurements. The resulting data can then be used at a manufacturing site to optimize sealing processes and indirectly verify seal quality and system integrity. CCI testing includes both probabilistic and deterministic methods. Probabilistic methods can help with early understanding of package integrity. Newer technologies, such as X-ray tomography, are able to be used as part of the qualification process, for they provide an improved visual understanding of how components fit together under various environmental conditions. However, deterministic methods are necessary to qualify the integrity of the packaging system. This relies on modern technologies that are quantitative and validated. Examples of these include pressure or vacuum decay, tracer gas, laser-based headspace, mass extractions, and electrical conductivity. In all cases, fully validated methods using positive controls are required to detect a breach in a container closure system integrity and establish acceptance criteria. CCI technologies should be chosen based on the type of packaging system and its contents, the required mall and method sensitivity. How can companies implement these new technologies? First of all, ensuring container closure integrity is not just a question of implementing new technology. It is a practice of selecting appropriate packaging materials that fit together for the intended purpose. This requires that CCI is consistent with the mall under conditions of use throughout the product life cycle using a combination of CCI technologies. The requirements for verifying packaging integrity have become more challenging as packaging systems become more fully integrated with delivery devices. New technology can only measure the system that is being presented, and the goal is to verify packaging performance, not to test it in. CCI depends on multiple factors, such as choosing compatible materials, configuring the right components, and designing the right system to meet the pharmaceutical product requirements. Breaches in CCI can occur at any time over the product life cycle, at manufacturing or during storage and shipping. 
It takes a team of qualified experts to prevent CCI risks to critical packaging systems during development. The best way to implement appropriate CCI technologies is to collaborate with partners who have the expertise needed to guide packaging throughout the product life cycle. Container closure integrity data will only be as good as the study design. That is why it is critical to understand the risks for a given package system in order to acquire the appropriate data at the right time.